some good news. Tax filing deadlines have now been extended from April to July, and more changes are actually in the works. 25 News reporter Abby Loring spoke with some local CPAs to find out how it impacts you at home. Abby? That's right, Todd. The government announced this week that all tax filings due April 15th will now be pushed back to July 15th. This is in an effort to lighten the economic load during the coronavirus outbreak. I talked to local accountants today to find out how that might affect you. Good news for Central Texans. This year, the taxman says he'll wait. Especially for us, um, you know, at a CPA office, we weren't sure if they were extending the deadline. You know, a lot of people are or not wanting to be around or, or not coming in as much because of that. But, you know, we were worried about them not extending it. I think it's a relief that they did. The federal government said Friday that individuals who owe less than one million and corporations that owe less than $10 million don't have to file for taxes until July. Local accountants say that if there's a chance you could get a refund, it's still a good idea to file as soon as possible, as that money could come in handy during the coronavirus outbreak. If you do expect a refund, then I would go ahead and file your return, get your refund now. That too will help financially for all of these people that may be having to miss work or stay home at this point. More changes could come. In addition to tax relief, Congress and the president are working on a stimulus plan, which should include checks for most Americans. So the latest I've heard is that they're proposing $1,200 per individual. Um, this is for individuals who on their 2018 tax return had an adjusted gross income of $75,000 or less. It can range on that and it'll be $500 per child. For now, CPAs in the area remain hard at work, knowing that for so many, it's an uncertain time. I probably have to work whether I'm sick or not because my clients rely upon me to file things timely. And even if I'm sick, somebody has to do it. Local tax experts say they will stay open at this time. They've even put plans in place where you can drop off your tax forms or you can call ahead of time in order to abide by the CDC and social distancing guidelines.